Get you can size. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How is Harvard? Harvard? Well, thank you. <laughs> Busy. It's been a long time since I was there. Uh, being a non scientist, I was there for social science. Mm. Uh, a certain professor, uh, Michael Ford. Huh. And his Institute of Competitiveness. I hear he's moved on, though. I don't know Michael Porter, but uh, is it, is he, I'm I'm more based at the medical school. I know, I know that. I know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the doctors didn't know yeah. Michael Porter very well. He's <laughs> yeah. he not very well behind us. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we'd be honored if you ever wanted to come back to Harvard and visit. I, I have to come to Harvard and visit. I will invite myself if you don't, because we owe you a huge ton of gratitude. Thank you. Huge. Um, um, and I, I'm, I'm sad to let you know that our former president is doing so well, mm. uh, President Mohai. Mm. Uh, it did be in his name and it's in, the, in honor of what he did. Yes. And what you and he established. So that come there and just gives you tons of pocket full of, you know, lots of gratitude. Uh, well, the feeling is mutual. I mean, you know? what, what, what President Mohai did was amazing. And, uh, the special relationship he had with Access was yes, really fantastic. Yes. Uh, yeah, we, we want to continue that. Yeah. And we, we've got to find a recipe of uh, rekindling it. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's you know, the, the, the timelessness of uh, the old classic case, Shakespearean, Romeo and Juliet. Mm. We need to do that. Mm -hmm. We need to. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry, my name is Makhwezi Masis. <laughs> I'm Roger Shapiro, professor yeah. at the School of Public Health. Well, well, yeah. Thank you. Who, who's the man next to you? Thank you, Mr. Excellency. I was going to introduce uh, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Dr. Shapiro, the chair of uh, BHP and also professor of public health at the Harvard School of Public Health. I'm also with uh, Professor Makema, who is the CEO of Kutana, the Harvard Partnership, and uh, Moses Gay did a DPS partnership. And then we have uh, Dr. Macheto, who is the, 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 the mm -hmm. CEO of Macheto. He's the Deputy CEO designee for PHP. Um, he will be as assuming his position from the 1st of March. Well, nice to meet you. You're really, really welcome. Thank you. Um, fortunately, I know the other two gentlemen next to the minister. And uh, you two are welcome. Thank you. Both to Mutwana and uh, to, to the cabinet room. <laughs> yeah. Um, Am I, am I mistaken? I'm assuming you, you may not be too old in Botswana. Or are you local? Uh -huh. Very local. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I spoke the beard and I thought, this beard, what am I talking about? <laughs> so the Belgian beard. Yes. <laughs> no, it's good to see you. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, like I, I started, we in the Botswana government uh, and for the people of Botswana feel tons of gratitude. To be, I shouldn't forget the other partners, you know, Mr. Master and others. For what you did when we were facing our first most perilous moment mm -hmm. with um, HIV and AIDS. And as has happened in history, uh, when faced with uh, the greatest risks, um, it's uh, man's ingenuity that comes through uh, in sciences mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you know, uh, pulled us through. And uh, we couldn't have found a better partner than John uh, Howard Partnership. And you have a wonderful local um, uh, representative in Kotimaka, uh, uh, someone I've known close to most of my life and close to most of his absolutely. life. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, the, 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 there are no qualms about it. And uh, we. we we are committed to uh, strengthen this partnership. Um, we are committed to, um, in in consonance with uh, my government's commitment to a drive and knowledge based economy, a knowledge intensive economy, a research intensive economy, an innovation intensive economy. We want to invest more in that space and invest so that we can capacitate our own, we can capacitate institutions, we can. Uh, provide solutions, not just to the challenges, uh, but to the region. And 
we think we are sitting in an ambient environment of you know, the tranquil you know, peace and the macroeconomic stability to afford that. Uh, and now is the time. Um, we were committed uh, at the pre-level to enhance the STEM uh, subjects so that we have the necessary uh, base material uh, to so to we are committed to um, at the uh, at the tail end to yield uh, a tour, a health tourism hub uh, in Botswana, uh, but we are also committed to ensuring that we we uh, provide an opportunity for private sector funding to come into uh, the health uh, clinical research uh, uh, space, um, uh, particularly when. You know, we provide uh, the ecosystem for commercialization through uh, patenting and, uh, 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 and such other indications to provide uh, assurance for reward for those who may so wish to invest. So we want to le- we learned from you. You've been doing this for hundreds of years. Um, how do we do it with, uh, by avoiding mistakes that you went through, which you don't want to bother with? So I'd like, in the evolution of this partnership, Minister, for us to um, draw around those competencies as well, yeah, and not just the, the, the clinical stuff you do in the, in the labs. Um, we are, of course, very proud that uh, one of our own, and it's through uh, the, the ground that you lay, um, uh, you laid, uh, that we discovered the Omicron. Uh, and, uh, I was so proud, I, I rushed to the, to the lab and it was really my first time in the lab, it really is. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, well, come I had never been in this lab. We were very grateful for the visit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, it was necessary because, as usual, um, the least informed were, were, were hitting at the poor institution and the individuals mm. and the country. Mm. You know, we were assaulted. Um, by, by those who thought uh, we we done something really wrong, and we've only done what they do every day. It, it's really funny how, um, when those you least expect to know know, and, and the response from the ones who know the most uh, seem to baffle logic. Uh, but we, we responded. We were we were very condemning of them. Um, so uh, we 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 uh, we will support. Uh, BHP. Um, we are looking at the budget next week. I'll look at it very closely. But I said to them, and I said to Dr. Makema that if uh, you know he has any qualms uh, and he's seen the minister enough, and the minister doesn't give me too much joy, I'm always available. Always. Um, so you know, coming to uh, the relationship, um, I, I don't, I. I'm not too comfortable with this uh, term limit relationship. I want an, an, an enduring relationship. I really do. An almost incestuous relationship. You know, uh, we should have fellows in Harvard, Harvard should have fellows here. And uh, we, we need to develop uh, a Harvard outreach and, and, uh, and fix it to being part of the program. So when, when you teach students in Harvard, you have to come and do residency here. You know, in a nutshell, I'm just saying this, that lab is too small. Yes. Um, even the level of that lab is too small. <laughs> you know, when we started with COVID, we had to do our tests in South Africa. We didn't have a lab that was of uh, sufficient grade. So, and that's, you know, there's a, a research and COVID, if you look at what's going on in other parts of the world, we need to, to get ready for other pandemics that will come. And so, as the Minister Martin informed you, we have um, established an independent public health uh, body to uh, really uh, liberate and let the scientists do what they know how to do best. Very exciting. Yeah. yeah. The, new, the new institute will be fantastic. Yes. So, I've been talking all morning, so. Well, and over to you, Prof. And anyway, thank you very much, um, Excellency. I, I think a lot of what you have been talking to, we already um, are doing. 
uh, some of the <coughs> training capacity, fellowship exchanges, residence uh, exchanges we're already doing in um, partnership with the Harvard affiliated uh, hospitals, getting residents to come to Botswana from Harvard to co um, participate in clinical services, Scottish Livingston the Hospital or within our laboratory. And we are already working with the University of Botswana. Um, and uh, yesterday we met with Professor Norris um, to begin identifying some of the top kids that we can have in country um, to go and do PhDs at Harvard. And I think um, uh, Professor Shapiro can talk to that mm. um, as to the commitment from uh, uh, Sarah Fortune that they would be paid for if they can qualify for entry uh, according to Harvard standards. And this is how you'd be able to capacity build. And we've uh, recently had uh, one uh, doctor who fatally returned from Harvard, who was trained at Harvard uh, within our lab, uh, who is doing HIV cure research. And I think this is right at the, at the, the, the top edge uh, in terms of, uh, of cure research. So. I think capacity is something that we are committed to doing uh, and we we be thankful to the Ministry of Health for all the support that they continue to provide for us to do that work. Uh, and um, Dr. Macheto is the new generation who will take over from, from us. Dr. Malani retired end of December. Really? And so this is why Dr. Macheto basically takes off, uh, takes over from Dr. Malani, uh, Malani effective first of, of, of March. And I am possibly also looking at uh, exiting. Early. Um, um, well, um, 64 <laughs> is <laughs> early excellency. So um, we, we are building. Thanks, media. We, we are, we are, we are.